All right, guys, welcome back to another video on Modern Warships. I'm The Unknown, and today I'm doing a swordship gameplay with my good friend Nuclear Blanket, who is also a YouTuber. Be sure to subscribe to his channel. And today my current build is Scalp Naval, um, AT44, F20 on Artemis, Type 2030, which is going to change. I'm going to put Garpin on it after this. And S97 Raider, which is going to be permanent on the swordship now, because, God, it looks so good on it. And without further ado, Let's get right into it. Alright, hopefully we get a good map. I want a good map for this, because I want to test out the full capabilities of this thing. I have high hopes for this ship. Because I, I waited a long time to get it, and I, I'm i just I'm just really hyped. I'm hoping that it is, it is a good ship and it was worth the wait. I know the railgun is auto-aim and it fires at aircraft, so that's a plus. The Type 2030, though, is just like a Palash, so that's why I'm going to change it to Garpin, because we need a Garpin on this thing. It's only got two air defenses on it. My Grenade Launcher, too, also does some damage. Alright, good. He's going to spot. He's going to do the duty of spotting. So right off the bat, you can see, if I let it go for a little bit, it's going to go to 30 knots. So right off the bat, this thing does 30 knots. All right, we're not spotted, guys. We're incognito. Time to time to uh, time to unleash hell. Right, we need to find them. We need to find that carrier ASAP. All right, let's go. Nuclear blankets just out of control right now. Man, man cannot contain himself. There we go. There's the Ford right there. That's my lunch right there. So it's got decent firepower, but I think it lacks a little damage. It, it needs, I think the railgun needs a damage buff for this thing to work. And that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. That is swordship gameplay with Nuclear Blanket. Nuclear Blanket died, but he got two of the kills. I'm going to go give a rating to this guy. He carried the team. But yeah, there you go. Swordship gameplay. So my conclusions, it's a very fast ship. If you want to do a lot of damage, I suggest I suggest you put a missile on it that can do damage, but at the same time have a fast reload. So I recommend Scalp or Wave Rider for it, or DF-17. Those are the best three missiles you can possibly put on this thing. As for air defense, something that fires missiles and cannons, so that would be Panzer or Palash. Or, I mean, Panzer or Garpin, excuse me. Other than that, I think it's a very good ship. And I think it was definitely worth the wait. And that's all I got for you guys. Peace out.